time now to talk gun control. There has been a lot of debate about mental illness and guns. In fact, we have seen at least one incident here in Tennessee where mental health has played a part in a mass shooting after four people were killed at an Antioch Waffle House. So candidates, we are going to do something a little bit different with this question. We're going to give you both time to elaborate on your thoughts on this. But first, we want to get a show of hands. A show of hands, raise your hand if you are in favor of enhancing the red flag system, which identifies people with or who have suspicion of mental health issues as part of background checks for gun buyers. Okay, Governor, we're going to start with you, both of you. I want to go on the record, raising your hand. Uh, please elaborate, Governor. Okay, um, these school shootings, first of all, are unbelievably difficult for this country. I can't even imagine what it's like to be a parent of a student, uh, a student in that school, let alone a parent whose child had been killed or seriously injured in, in, that, in that fashion. Um, I think there are some basic sound things that we can do. Uh, including enhancing background checks, properly funding NICS. But one of the most important things will be to have some mechanism to identify people who, from a mental health perspective, uh, are not suitable for, uh, for handling, for handling owning, owning weapons. Um, uh, I think that had such a thing been in place, uh, there's two of these last three school shootings that I think could have been prevented. I think it should be judicially mandated, not something which is done by an administrator somewhere to give people protections against it being used arbitrarily. But I think one of the most effective things we could ever do to prevent these violences is to get serious about keeping guns out of the hands of people who are problematical. Governor, thank you. Uh, again, Congressman, you also raised your hand in support of a red flag system for background checks. Uh, explain why. Yes, and I will tell you, I think that we can protect the Second Amendment and also protect our citizens in public places. That is something that we've done throughout our nation's history. And I have supported enhancing the NICS system. And no one, I will tell you, nobody wants someone who is a danger to themselves or others to have a firearm in their possession. And I have, I've been a room mother and have spent time in schools. And you want to make certain those children are safe, hardening those schools, making those resources available. I am endorsed by the Fraternal Order of Police because they know that I work carefully with them. I'm also endorsed by the NRA. I have an A rating from them. Phil and I each sought their endorsement. He has a D rating from them. Now, if you had the Democrats in control, and if Hillary Clinton, who he wanted to be president, was president, you would see them taking away your guns. Congressman, thank you. Governor, 30 seconds for rebuttal. Um, <laughs> Um, I want to just reaffirm again, please, that uh, I have been a gun owner all of my life. I grew up in a rural community. Um, uh, I have been a strong supporter of Second Amendment rights. I think those are important rights uh, of, of American citizens. And I think the way we exercise those rights responsibly, as with anything else, is by putting reasonable kinds of controls in place. I got crossways with the NRA because I vetoed a bill that allowed people to carry guns in bars. I thought that was crazy. It was stupid. Uh, I vetoed the bill, and it made them very mad. Governor, thank you. Congressman? Uh, yes, Phil was in New York last night he, uh, with Michael Bloomberg, who Michael Bloomberg is one of the leading advocates for gun control in this country. I fully believe we can protect the Second Amendment and we can protect guns your right to own a gun. You know, the Democrats bring you judges and justices like Soda, Soda, so, Sonia Sotomayor, who says she does not think you have a fundamental right to own a gun. Congressman, thank you.